Hello viewers, welcome to Income Fund Fundas, a unique show simplifying debt market hosted by yours truly Cyril Javeri and brought to you by Axis Mutual Fund. In continuation to our uh, earlier episode, how do fund managers use different concepts to construct schemes? I will take up one more such concept and how it is used effectively by the fund managers to construct a scheme. Constantly rolling down, I have spoken about this in an earlier episode. It is used very effectively uh, in what we call March CD or NCD concept. Or it is used very effectively in a constantly rolling down product which with a 10 year to start with or 5 year to start with in terms of buying those papers of 5 year maturity or 10 year maturity papers and constantly buying residual maturity papers going forward. Let me explain to you this with an example of a March CD concept. In the month of March, because there is an outflow due to advanced tax and the government spending, year-end spending, interest rates tend to go up. Fund managers capture these higher yields in the month of March by buying a one-year CD or an NCD for the next one-year period, maturing in next March. In the month of April, since it's an open-ended scheme, there will be fresh inflows also. But in the month of April, generally uh, it's a lean credit season. The money which had gone out in the month of March will come back into the system. And that's the reason why uh, interest rates tend to soften on its own. In the month of April, the fund manager will buy resident maturity of 11 month NCD or CD. Then in the month of May, they will buy a 10 month residual maturity NCD or CD and so on and so forth. The investor has a choice to hold it till its maturity and it becomes like an HTM where the captured yield at the time of ma uh, investment in the month of March less the expense ratio is the return which the investor will generate in their portfolios. As against that, in the month of May when the interest rates would have gone, or gone down or softened because of the liquidity coming back into the system and it being a lean credit uh, season where liquidity is not at a premium. Investors have a choice to exit out of this scheme with higher accruals in some capital gains. Let's assume the fund manager had captured 10% yield in the month of March. It could have gone down automatically to 9, 9.5% 9 in the month of April or May because of the liquidity back in the system or being it being a lean credit season as I've explained earlier. On the other side, let us assume the interest rates go up in the month of June, just the opposite of what was expected and something similar happened in the year 2013, where against the expectations of the interest rates going down, the interest rates actually went up. At that point in time, the investor has a choice because if the capture deal was 10% in the month of March and it goes up to, let's just for an example, 12% uh, in June or July, naturally there may be some capital loss as far as the original investor is concerned. That investor has two choices. One, either hold it till its maturity, which is the next March, and he will get that capture deal of 10% less the expense ratio, or he has a choice of adding on to the investments when the interest rates have gone up to 12% in the month of July and hold it till next March, uh, he will receive the re returns of 12% less the expense ratio. So in a constantly rolling down situation, it becomes like an open-ended FMP where the investor has a choice of uh, investing at any point in time when the interest rates have gone up and hold it till its residual maturity. Constantly rolling down maturity concept also gives predictability in returns and how does that happen? As I've explained to you, if you had invested in the month of March with say 10% yield, captured yield, and you hold it till next March, naturally your return should be 10% less the expense ratio. If you had invested in between also when the interest rates went up to 12% in the month of July, as I've explained to you earlier, and you hold it till the next uh, March, which is the residual maturity, you will earn the returns of 12% less the expense ratio. So investors should use this as an open-ended FMP, fixed maturity plan, where there is predictability of returns by capturing the yield at the time of investment and holding it till its residual maturity. Hope viewers have understood this very unique concept 
of constantly rolling down on maturity used by fund managers to construct these schemes. Thank you so much. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.